Okay, today is February the 10th, 2018, and right now at 11.30 p.m. we have a temperature of 52 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 87%. The dew point is 48 degrees, and the barometer is down at 29.95. And today we saw a lot of uh, heavy chemtrails spraying over the Southern California area. Uh, yesterday it was not as heavy, but we had a lot of spraying yesterday, and then the previous three days was uh, very clear. And so uh, we can see the moisture moving through uh, Central and Southern California here today. And uh, we saw a lot of uh, a lot of spraying, a lot of chemtrail spraying, and also we saw a lot of thunderheads, uh, cumulonimbus development uh, being uh, targeted over these mountains in the Santa Clarita Valley and also out by uh, Palmdale. And so uh, when that happens, when these uh, thunderheads are targeted, uh, that prevents, uh, that actually disrupts the uh, development, the uh, rising air, and prevents those uh, uh, clouds from generating thunderstorms and rain. And so uh, as we look at the Doppler map right now, we can see that there is no rain anywhere in this entire southwestern area. We see that there's some uh, snow and rain right over the uh, Grand Canyon area, it looks like, but uh, nothing over uh, California. We'd expect to see a lot of rain with all this uh, moisture moving through the area, but that's not the case. So we're getting a lot of uh, chemtrail spraying that uh, prevented the lift. And of course, the uh, thunderheads that were developing were uh, being targeted. I was unable to get a video. I saw a very good example of a gigantic thunderhead being targeted. And it had like three big rings that looked like a, a UFO or something <laughs> up in the sky. Couldn't couldn't get over fast enough off the freeway to uh, uh, get that. But uh, anyhow, that's what's going on. Let's take a look at the big map. Uh, the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see a, a gigantic vortex here. This is about 1,008 millibar. This is a surface level low pressure all the way up to the... Uh, upper level. So we have a surface to upper level low right here and pretty much the same over here. This is a hurricane force uh, system. I think this is 975 millibar. We'll look at that on the chart in a minute. We have high pressure installed. This has been the pattern here for the last week. We see that uh, this portion is, is uh, moved down south and so we have some flow, some moisture flow into the uh, Southern California and Central California area. And uh, that was all sprayed over. Also, we have uh, low pressure in this area. The barometer is down at 29.95. We have we can see the uh, high pressure being installed right here, and that's going to bring us the wind tonight. Uh, the people on TV are forecasting wind. Uh, the uh, various weather apps, the Weather.com, the AccuWeather app, and of course the TV stooges are all reporting different. Uh, rain events, uh, they vary anywhere from uh, no rain uh, to rain possibly uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And uh, so we'll have to see what uh, the uh, weather controllers give us. This is all in their hands. Uh, this is a matter of clicking keys on a keyboard and uh, pointing transmitters and, and uh, installing high pressure and rerouting the jets. That's what this is all about. So we've got weather markets. We can see we've got tons of uh, rain offshore. We've got one giant uh, low pressure right here. We've got a hurricane force system here. We've got another low right behind that. We've got a low up here. This may be the rainmaker that drops down. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, looking at the surface analysis map, this is the low that is forecast to uh, move down towards uh, California. But we can see what's happening here. This is all being, uh, we've got a transmitter right here, which is disrupting the moisture uh, flowing around that vortex. We can see the uh, the evaporation right there. It's all broken up. And the same thing over here, this low pressure. Uh, we can see that a transmitter here is evaporating that moisture as it moves around the back side of this low. And that is preventing the, uh, the low from developing. And here we see over here, we've got a transmitter uh, disrupting the uh, jet stream, evaporating all this moisture right through here. This is the jet stream flow. And we have a blockade around this low, and that is redirecting this uh, 
jet stream flow so that uh, this cannot flow into this low pressure system. This here violates uh, one of the basic laws of uh, thermodynamics. Higher pressure flows to lower pressure, but yet we see uh, this uh, making an abrupt left turn and passing this low uh, right on by. And so uh, the, uh, the mainstream media's uh, climate change argument flies out the window when we uh, look at these maps day after day. We can easily uh, show what's happening here. We have uh, manipulation of the weather manipulation of the jet stream, uh, rain is being diverted and prevented, and of course there's weather markets, weather derivatives being traded. Okay, so here is the uh, western uh, U.S. infrared loop. Let me see this low pressure up here. This is the one that is uh, pointing down towards uh, California. Take a look at that here in a sec. This is the water vapor map for the uh, western U.S. We see that new high pressure area right there being uh, installed. That'll bring the wind uh, during the uh, evening hours tonight, later on, probably after midnight. Everything out here is being blocked. This is all flowing towards this uh, big vortex. Okay, so we saw these maps. Let's take a look at the uh, surface map right now. We have that a low pressure right here next to Hawaii. This is 1,009 millibar. This is going to move out, move away. We've got high pressure installed off the uh, west coast. We have this hurricane force uh, storm right here, 972 millibar. This is going to move to the north. It's blocked by two highs out here. And then we have this low up off of the uh, Canadian coast in Alaska. This is pointing right down towards. Uh, California and Oregon. So this is uh, probably going to maybe bring us some rain. We'll have to see what, what they do with those uh, transmitters. But uh, based on this chart, this should move down and bring some rain. All right. So now when we look at the, uh, the SSEC map, we see the size of this uh, vortex here. This is a gigantic spinning low pressure system. This is a surface to upper level low. And just look at the size of that. That is all being blocked by this area of high pressure right off the uh, California coast. And then we have uh, this low here, which is the one that's pointing down towards California. Now, all this moisture here should have brought a lot of rain, but uh, we just had a lot of chemtrails. And again, those uh, thunderheads were being uh, targeted. Right here in the Southern California area, we had a lot of moisture moving in, moving through the area. We had high humidity all day long. Right now it's 87%. With these winds moving in tonight, we'll have to uh, I'll keep an eye on the, uh, on the relative humidity and see what happens. Okay, so here's the uh, sea level pressure chart. We can see that uh, low right near the Hawaiian Islands right here. This is a closed low right here. We've got this hurricane force system here, and we have this low here, which is supposed to move down, dump some rain in our area. Right here, I can't see what the, what that is. Uh, I think this is a low right here, 950. What does that say? Can't see that. Okay. Uh, next, we have the 500 millibar. Got the high pressure indicated here. We've got this low. Actually, got three lows, four lows, right here. Everything's being blocked. We'll have to see what happens here with the uh, high pressure being installed over our area. Here's the upper level map, the 300 millibar. We see the uh, low here. This is gigantic uh, low pressure system being blocked, and we have uh, this low right here, which should should move in. All right, so uh, we'll just uh, stand by and see what they give us. We're hearing anywhere from a quarter inch to uh, maybe one inch of rain in the uh, Southern California area, depending on where you live, near the uh, beach or the foothills or downtown. We'll just have to see what they give us. 
Okay, that's it.